to Polygon's GCSE exam questions with Qubit Education. We're just going to go through um, a range of questions that could come up in the GCSE exam that are linked to polygons. Okay, so question number one says that each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 30 degrees and it asks us to work out the number of sides of the polygon. Now here we can remember that a regular polygon has all exterior angles adding up to 360 degrees. So because of the exterior angles adding up to 360, we can just divide that by the 30 degrees and that gives us 12. So that tells us that it's 12 sides. So for question number two, it says to work out the size of an exterior angle of a regular pentagon. Now a pentagon has five sides, okay, it's a five-sided shape. And again, it's asking about exterior angles. So we can just do 360 divided by five. And that gives us 72, meaning that the exterior angle is 72 degrees. Now that means that that's 72. It also means that that's 72. Uh, n yes, it does. <laughs> it also means that that's 72 and that and that. Okay. <clears throat> now then, we could also say that that's 72 as well. Okay. And we will look at different questions where angles turn up like this. Okay. Question number three asks us to calculate the size of the exterior angle of a regular hexagon. Now in this case, a hexagon has got six sides. So again, we can just do 360 divided by six, and that gives us 60 degrees. Okay, question number four. The size of each exterior angle of a regular polygon is 40 degrees. Still talking about exterior angles here. And all we need to do is work out the number of sides of the regular polygon. So all we need to do, again, is 360, and this time divided by 40. Okay, and that gives us 9. So 9 sides. Okay, question number 5. So, so far they're all very similar. They do get harder as we go along. Question number 5 says the size of each interior angle, so this time interior, of a regular polygon is 156 and we need to know the number of sides of the polygon. So this time we know that the interior angle of the polygon is 156. Now here you must remember that the interior angle plus the exterior angle add up to 180 degrees. So if we do 180 degrees take away 156 degrees that leaves us with 24 and that's the exterior angle measurement. If we know the exterior angle measurement now, we can just do what we did before. Do 360 divided by 24, and that gives us 15. So we know that there are going to be 15 sides. Okay, question number six. Here is a regular polygon with nine sides. Work out the size of the exterior angle. Again, a nice easy one, 360 divided by nine is 40. So we are heading into trickier territory now with question 7. Question 7 asks us to work out the size of each interior angle of the regular octagon. Now we don't know the exterior angle here so we can't work it out by taking it away from 180. However what we can do is use a formula. Now the formula that I need you to remember is 180 times by n minus 2 or divided by n okay and this will tell us the size of the interior angle so n is the number of sides of the shape and then we take away 2 so that would be 180 times by well it's an eight sided shape because it's an octagon 8 take away 2 or divided by n again which is 8 well, that's 180 times 6, all divided by 8. That leaves us with 1080 divided by 8, giving us 135 degrees. So, this is the formula that you need to remember to work out the size of an interior angle when you haven't been given any exteriors. Okay? 
Right, so question uh, B then states that the size of each exterior angle of the regular polygon is 30 degrees. Work out the number of sides of the polygon. So all you need to do here, because it's talking about exterior, is 360 divided by the angle 30, which gives us 12 sides. Okay. Even though it's question B, it does state that the size of each exterior angle of A regular polygon is not talking about this one. Okay, it's a different question. Right then, question number eight then. Question number eight says that there is a diagram showing part of a regular ten-sided polygon. Work out the size of the angle marked X. Well, the angle marked X is an interior angle, so we're going to need to use our formula again in order to work that out. So it's 180 minus n minus 2 all over n. Well, in this case, it's 180 minus 10 minus 2 over 10. That gives us 180, sorry, that's a time, times by 8 over 10. That leaves us with 1440 divided by 10 which is 144 degrees. And you get a nice three marks for that. Again, this is the formula that you need to remember to work out the size of an interior angle. Question nine then looks trickier still. So the diagram shows a regular hexagon and a regular octagon. Calculate the size of the angle marked X. So the angle marked X is an exterior angle. Okay, sorry, let me just create some space. So, first of all, we're going to start by working out the interior angle of the hexagon. So, let's write that down. Interior angle of hexagon. And we need to use our formula for that. Okay. Which gives us 180 times 4 over 6. Leaving us with... 720 over 6, which is 120. So again, I've just used this same formula, and in here I've put, well, it's actually, because it's a hexagon, um, we needed 6 take away 2, so that would have been 6, which is 6 take away 2, which is how I've got the 4 here, just as a reminder, and 6 must be there because n is 6, and a hexagon has 6 sides. Okay, so just a reminder. Now we will do the octagon. I'm going to do that in a different colour so we don't get confused. So the octagon, octagon, um, we need to do, and it's an octagon, sorry, spelling everything wrong today. 180 times by, again, n minus 2 over n. Well, an octagon has got eight, sheet, eight sides, so 8 take away 2 is 6, oops, all over 8. Um, giving us 1080 over 8, which is 135. Okay, so now we know the interior uh, angles of each the hexagon and the um, octagon, which means I can actually say that I know these two. So this one will be my 120, and this one will be my octagon which is 135 and we also then can say that 360 because it's actually a full turn take away 135 take away 120 equals 105 degrees so that is your final answer okay so um lots going on there this is the first section I did, then this one, and once I found those two interior angles, I um, I added them in here, okay, and then I worked out this last angle by taking them all away from 360, because 360 degrees is all the way around, all right. Okay then, so number 10, <coughs> again, another tricky one. So number 10 is asking us, it says the diagram shows a square and four reg regular pentagons. Work out the size of the angle marked X. 
Okay, well, in this case, we need to work out the interior angle of the pentagon. Um, so in order to do that, let me just scroll down a little bit. So the pentagon, let's start with that. So again, we have to use the uh, the formula, 180 times n minus 2 over n, which gives us 180 times 3 over 5, which gives us 540 over 5, which gives us 108 degrees. And then because of that, we know, if I just go up a little bit, that this here is going to be 108. Okay, And we also know that this here is going to be 108. We then know that this here, because it's a square, is a 90 degree angle. So we can do um, this being the 360 going all the way around. We will do 360, take away 108 twice, take away 90, gives us 54 degrees. Okay, so it looks really tricky when you first get there, but using the rules that you are learning, so using this rule here, okay, you can more or less do anything, all right? Okay, question number 11. So for question number 11, it says that A, B, C, D, E and E, H, J, K, L are regular pentagons. A, E, L is an equilateral triangle. Work out the size of angle D, E, H. Well, angle D, he, E, H, sorry, D, E, H is this one. Okay, so D, E, H. And it's always that one in the middle, so it sits above that one there. So first of all, I'm going to work out the interior angle of the pentagon because I want to work out this and this. Okay, so I'll tell you what, we'll do the pentagon in red. So the pentagon, we need to use our rule, okay, which means we will have 180 times by 3 over 5, which equals 540 over 5, which equals 108 degrees. So again, 108 goes there and 108 goes there. Um, this is an equilateral triangle, okay. So let's do that in yellow, equilateral triangle. Uh, because it's an equilateral triangle, I know that 180 degrees divided by 3 equals 60. So these all must be 60 because it's an equilateral triangle. And all angles in a triangle add to 180. I'm going to write that down to remind you. All angles in a triangle add to 180. I know that might seem like a simple rule, but people forget that a lot. Okay, so 180 divided by 3 gives me 60. So I now know this section, this section, and this section. So to work out my final answer, okay, I need to do 360, take away 108, take away 108 again, take away 60, and that gives us 84 degrees okay and that is our final answer we have worked out x okay okay so question 12 then says that the diagram shows part of a pattern made from tiles so the pattern is made from two types of tiles tile a which is this big one here and tile b um both tile A and tile B are regular polygons. I'm just going to zoom up a bit, uh, move up a bit. Work out the number of sides tile A has. Now we can see here that if we if we kind of highlight tile A, we, this is tile A here. So sometimes it's hard to imagine. So that's the tile. Let me just, again, come back a minute. So that's the tile. Okay. So, and then here is another one of the tiles on this side. Okay. So to make that easier for you to see, if you want to, you can kind of, Colour it in a little bit. There's tile A and tile B. Oh, sorry, another tile A. Okay, and what you're trying to do is, here, you've got this measurement. And in order to work out how many sides something has, something has, we need to know this interior angle. 
Well, I can safely say that tile B is an equilateral triangle. Because tile B is an equilateral triangle, if I do 180 divided by 3, I know that this must be 60 degrees, and this must be 60 degrees, and this must be 60 degrees. I also know that this whole thing around here is 360. So if I do 360 minus 60, that gives me 300. Well, if I do 300 divided by 2, which is 150, it will give me the measurement for this section here. 150 degrees, 150 degrees. Okay. So if I now know that they are 150 degrees, in order to work out the exterior angle, which would technically, if I can draw that in, be like this. So here's, here's our exterior angles there. Okay. There, there. Okay, they're all of our exterior angles. Okay. In order to work out those exterior angles, we need to do 150, uh, sorry, 180. Take away 150, giving us 30 degrees. So those will be 30 degrees there. So if we have the exterior angle now, oops, that's the exterior angle. Okay. We can now say how many sides this this um, polygon has. Okay. So we can then do the normal rule that we've been doing the entire time is 360 divided by the exterior angle, giving you 12 sides. Okay. Um, as Let's just move that up a bit. Sorry. So as you see the question here, how many tiles does A have? Uh, I mean, work out the number of sides tile A has, sorry, it's 12 sides. Okay. So again, I hope that made sense. That was a little bit tricky as well. Okay, so well done. Um, you, I hope you understood most of those. There will be some more of these coming up soon um, as I think they're really, really helpful for your exams. Okay, so thank you so much for watching Polygon's GCSE exam questions with Cuba Education. It's really hard to say Polygon's GCSE exam questions. Um, but I hope you found that really useful. Um, I hope you understood most of it. If not, please comment on the video and let me know if I can help you further.